feeding your baby solid foods for the first time is exciting. It can also be scary. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends waiting until baby is around six months old before introducing solids. What's the best way to do that though? Well, that's still up for debate. We've got breakfast for you. Do you want to try this? Breakfast, the most important meal of the day. Got it. I know, I know. I get excited for French toast too. See, for Taylor Scarborough of Mechanicsburg and eight-month-old daughter Hadley, mealtime is grown-up time. It's interesting to let them choose what they're eating and to see what they pick. On this morning, it's grown-up foods like French toast, blueberries, and oranges. The Scarboroughs introduce large pieces of food to Hadley using a method called baby led weaning. Hadley teaches herself what food she likes and how to eat them. They aren't used to eating and it's a new experience for them, so they have to learn how far food can go in their mouth or how far they can put their hands in their mouth. And so I think it's just all part of the learning experience. Baby led weaning, though, isn't for everyone, which I don't really recommend just because it's kind of newer and we don't have a lot of data about it yet. Like Wellspan doctor Jeffrey Monk. He says the American Academy of Pediatrics still recommends starting baby with pureed spoon fed food. Okay. Yum, yum. Ah. If families asked about that, I, I just tell them make sure that what you're giving the baby is something safe. You know, that, that it's a piece of food that's very, very soft. Dr. Monk suggests mushed fruit, tiny vegetables, or other food baby can fit in the palm of their hand. And whether you or your baby is leading, always give a variety of foods. It can take a baby trying that food 10 to 15 times just over and over again trying it until they eventually start to develop a preference for it. Dr. Monk stresses though, nothing seasoned, no added salts or peppers. Can I get you to take this? Perfect then. There you go. For Taylor and Hadley. If you're feeding them whole foods, there's really no limit to what they can try and what they can have. The Academy of Pediatrics still recommends breastfeeding as a baby's sole source of nutrition for their first six months. And very important, make sure your infant can sit up in a high chair with good head control before solids are introduced.